everyone, John Gonzalez here from MLive.com and the Behind the Mitten radio show. What's going on this weekend? What are you going to do? Uh, Todd Chance here from MLive. And Todd, you're an MC this weekend for a very cool event. Yeah, I get to do it once again. GR's Big Talent used to be GR's Got Talent. You know the show. It's at Peter Martin Leggy Theater where all the finalists that have been chosen over the past couple of months will be on stage vying for that $1,000 cash prize and a chance to perform at the hot New Year's Eve party. One of the finalists, I should make it clear, even uh, if you win, doesn't mean you'll be at the hot new year's eve party so that means even if you don't win you could be at the hot new year's eve party they're just picking one of the finalists to add to the coolness of that show yeah it makes sense because you have musicians and dancers a juggler would be kind of weird to have open up a big concert with thousands of people so yeah. that makes a lot of sense the guy who won with the yo-yo tricks i don't know if that would fit for new year's <laughs> right. eve i don't know the cold fingers you know if you can do it with gloves sure. on but yeah you're gonna see everything from singers dancers comedians it's a, it's a variety show, it is, is what it is, of some of the best talent in West Michigan. Great, Todd. Uh, thank you so much. Again, that show is tonight at the Peter Martin Weggie Theater, Grandma's Ballet Company. It's going to be a great show. Tickets are $15 at the door, grstalent.com for more information. Hey, what else is going on this weekend? Well, it's the Festival of Praise uh, this weekend tonight in Detroit, tomorrow at the Van Andel Arena. Uh, and vanandelarena.com for more information. And we're talking about Donnie McGlurkin, uh, Fred Hammond, uh, Kim Burrell, the biggest names in gospel music will be on stage. Also, if you're looking for something to do, you can head up to Traverse City. Traverse City Beer Week continues through November 20th. I'll be up there in a few hours. I'm doing the great beard run uh, today. Uh, so I'm gonna grow a beard quickly and, and get on and do a 5K race as well. But TraverseCity.com for a full list of events at Traverse City Beer Week. Now, as you know, I'm wrapping up my search for Michigan's best mac and cheese. While I'm up in Traverse City, I'm gonna head up to the UP. But before I go there, Matt here, from Pit Stop, how you doing, man? Great, how about you? The Pit Stop, one of the stop, top choices here in Grand Rapids. What makes your mac and cheese so special? Well, it, it it's kind of basic. You know, we don't throw a, a ton of stuff in there. We try to keep the ingredients very, very top notch. Um, we've worked a lot with um, seasonings and spices with our different rubs that we do. And my wife was able to incorporate those into, the, in, into our two different kinds of mac yeah. and cheeses. One's a smack and cheese, one's our regular mac and cheese. We use three or four different kinds of, of cheese that are in there and um, some other things that are a little bit different. We, we try to have a nice sharp edge to it so you, you kind of taste it back here by your ears. You got it, man. Thank you so much. Go to BehindTheMitten.com for things about the radio show, MLive.com for the search on mac and cheese. And, you know, these guys are open on Thursdays, right? Every Thursday. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Your weekend WZZ Morning News continues right after this.